guys. So, we're gonna talk. What? I, I didn't say anything important. I was saying what happened and that doesn't matter. She didn't hear anything. So it doesn't matter. Alright. So. The plate can go right there for now. It's messing everything up. Alright. A lot of you saw my Facebook updates today and were wondering, like, what the hell is going on? Lily is fine. Nothing happened to my kid because if it were my kid, things would have played out differently. So, not my kid. But, I was at the bus stop today. Surprise, surprise. Every, every effing crazy thing happens there. But anyway, I'm at the bus stop. And we're, you know, just showing me and Lily are talking. You know, I'm showing her Snapchat filters because she loves them and it's funny. And all of a sudden, this kid that's always crazy, he's always always doing something stupid and like playing with sticks and being a little bully and stuff. He's an awful little child. I've never liked this kid. I've known this kid a long time before he Lily even went to school. He's a very awful kid. His parents don't care because. His mom's always on her cell phone, doesn't care. I know, I can tell. She doesn't care. She doesn't care because her kid is crazy. Anyway. <sighs> Let's get back to the store. The, there's like these sticks and branches everywhere. And I guess the kid and his friends or whatever built some sort of fort out of them. I would have told my kid personally, then I do tell her, do not play in there because there could be spiders. And you know what? Probably helps. There's a spider in there and it gets that kid. But anyway. The kid... Starts hitting things with sticks and saying how he's going to kill these other kids and blah, 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 blah. Starts freaking out. And I go over there and I, yeah, I yell at him. I'm like, put the fucking sticks down. And I was like, I'm going to call all y'all's parents and I'll find out who your parents are. And I will call them. And I was like, and I'm going to call the school. And you've got to stop it right now. And I was loud. Like, I'm, you could only imagine because I'm crazy. So anyway, I yell at these kids because... You know what? If your parents aren't going to be there to watch you, especially when you're some psychotic little child, then yes, I'm going to yell at you because obviously you need that in your life because no one, no one does that to you because you are, you are a psychopath. Because I, I was serious. I seriously thought this kid was going to harm these other kids. Like, I, I felt scared for them. <sighs> anyway. Lily was telling me she overheard the teacher telling this kid that his mom was called and she said no electronics when you come home. I'm like, do something more than I hate threatening kids' lives. Like, he's, te it's, it's, he's hurting people, okay? And, oh, no electronics, you gotta stay in your room. That shit's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do jack shit for this kid. Like, this kid needs to be taken to a juvenile detention center and shown what's going to happen to you when you get older because that's where you're headed considering the fact that you you know threaten other kids and and like with things like he's not like like you know how kids will be like god i hate you i want to just smack you or something you know and you could tell that they're not gonna do it this kid was like psycho like if he had like some sort of weapon he was going to use it at that moment like i'm pretty sure if he had access to a gun and had it with him he would have like shot up everybody i'm not even kidding that's how terrifying this little child was like why like psycho like real psycho so i called the school and I told the school what happened and i said something needs to be done that kid needs to be suspended or expelled or something because he is threatening other children and if he is back on that bus tomorrow i will personally call the school and tell them he needs to be pulled off the bus because my daughter doesn't feel safe around that child so he better not be on that bus tomorrow. And something more better happen to him at school because, you know, I'll be really upset if nothing happens to him. Because he needs to be taught an actual real life lesson. I'm tired of people saying, oh, they're just kids. No, they are human beings. Treat them how, just treat, tell them, do it. Don't be like, oh, kids will be kids. No, kids will not be kids. Kids will do kid things, yes, but if something is wrong and someone is crazy, you need to be like, hey, you're crazy, so here's a mental hospital, here's, here's jail, go live there. I don't know, that kid's too far gone, 
he's gonna end up he's gonna end up hurting somebody I can just see it with the headlines now I can see his picture in there too it's crazy anyway that was exciting and that's what happened and I and I stood up for these other kids and I did something about it because I'm the type of person that I don't like to stand around and do nothing I like to to, to make things happen and the um, the aunt or mom I think it's just the aunt was there and she was very grateful for the fact that I stood up and did something and I called parents because really I could have just sat there and let it happen like some people do they're like oh let me mind my own business and that's the problem no get in that business and you'd be like no kids stop it stop it that's how it is why are you looking at me like that because I'm crazy did you know all that happened just in your moment yeah that I'm crazy I yelled at them. Someone needed to yell at them. I'm awesome. Now, I, I just think that kids are crazy, so you've got to yell at them. Yell at your kids. It's okay. <clears throat> They're going to get over it, you know? Be like, don't be like, oh, you don't have to clean your room. I'm gonna... Be like, clean your room. Not going anywhere until it's done. <laughs> <laughs> That's parenting tips for you from Katie to you. You're welcome. Teach your kids not to be assholes. Thank you.